So we are back online. I am so fucking tired of this. Every single fucking time I start the stream, I have to restart it right away, right at the fucking beginning of the fucking cast. I'm sorry for cussing. I'm just very, very fucking annoyed at the moment because of the fucking software OBS and the fucking hardware that fails every single time. Apparently every single time I start streaming then I have to restart to have the webcam and the uh, microphone match the stupid sync. And uh, yeah, sorry for ranting but at least I got some salt off and fuck. That is pretty stupid. Pretty annoying, and um, yeah, I, I shouldn't even bother restarting the stream. To be honest, I should have just fucking stopped streaming right there when the PC failed, and uh, instead trying to fix the OBS thing. But I was not thinking about that. Just thinking about going back online. You have a picture of yourself. Oh, what's the point? I had fun on the first stage and when I was... And on the rat race, that's about it. First stage and the rat race stages are fun. The rest is boring and glitchy and annoying. <clears throat> From a totally unbiased point of view, this is not a good game. <clears throat> it's pretty bad. Not, it's not, not uh, it's not anywhere near uh, hard or frustrating though. It's pretty chill. It's just poor design and uh, tricks you into learning stuff or die kind of philosophy. You like this level? Well, get wrecked by the stupid robots, founders, and they're stupid shooting you after you kill them. Can you tell me how much you like this level? Boxes, of course, which will just get you like what the fuck is wrong with the programmers of this game when you play the elevator stage and, or this one. This is even the fun stage, as you see.
No, fuck. Steal. Bosses are so bad in this game, not even a boss music, they're all super stupidly easy. Except when they except well they can stun lock you to death. Which is pointless. Why don't they just make them one hit kill since once they hit you, you're dead. Except the pink guy. The pink guy shoots you for one damage, which is uh, just stupid. And then, if you just get squashed, you get squashed. Getting squashed in this game is another example of the, this game's horrible hitboxes. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I should probably stop talking about this game's flaws, because... It's just all there is to talk about this game. Only, gra good, only good graphics here, these screens here. These screens are the only good graphics in this game. Alright, here is where we unplug the controller and plug the uh, the Sega um, Arcade Power Stick. Which is annoying, but that's how we beat the game. Plug this. Okay. No, it wouldn't be legit, and yes, I'm playing on a console. Ah, 
Ah, come on, I want to repeat that. What? Stupid attacks, man. What? Pattern, it's no pattern. Oh, what the fuck again? Do I even have another continuity? Ah, uh, what? Get wrecked. Bottle jerks. She just called us bottle jerks. And unplug it. Done. And I hope I have another continue. I suck. Ah, I thought there was going to be a rhino here. Bullshit hitbox monster is up. Oh well, never mind. I died before that. How awesome is that? Ah. I am very bad at memorizing shit. Which is why this game over. Um, uh, should be clear by now that I don't want to know when a final level is the final level or not. I use the only warp I know, which is the Turbo Tunnel one.
cold pizza. Couldn't resist. Okay. Let's go. What do you mean by banderino? If I change scene will fuck up my webcam uh, delay. Did you see that? Okay. Can you explain that to me? How did I die? Very kind of banana is the red banana
these hitboxes, man, are just they're worse than Beast. They're worse than Shadow of the Beast. Okay, that wasn't weird. Why did he go backwards? It's glitching me like that. Why is this tramp not working? There we go, fine. This is so weird. Why doesn't it work properly? What? Thank you, Mist Walker. Apologize for the wonky streams lately. I really do. Fix my shit and fix my PC. Oh, what? That that's gonna be the most annoying fucking glitch ever. <sighs> oh, just so you know. When on the 25th I will present to you best game, favorite game, worst game, hardest game, easiest game, blah blah blah. This will take the cake for game with most glitches. Yes, even more so than the Chinese game I played, which was on license. Its name was Lion King 2. If you can call that a glitch, but you get my point. Why does it take so much now to kill? Before it would just let us go. Ah, last life, let's make something out of it. Why, 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 why? That doesn't make any sense. You jump off of that ramp and the other one stops moving. Because fuck physics. Okay. Oi, Mikey, welcome back. Yeah, on the 25th is next Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna celebrate one year of Mega Marathon. So, yeah. Apologize if I look a little bit annoyed. I just had issues with my PC and I got very frustrated about it. I'm in the process of recovering. It's not the game. If it was, I would have gotten mad now. It's not something I do unless Rampart. So, yeah. Let's get back there quickly. Up with this platform. Yeah, the platform just stopped. I mean, it, it's like you jump and you don't, you no longer have the inertia from the previous spin. 
so yeah. Uh, Mother Brain sent me this game. He gifted that to me. I'm with Mortal Kombat 2 and uh, 688 Tech Sub. Sharp games is not what we do here, apparently. But, you know. Doesn't matter. Gotta play them all eventually. Better get the long one, long ones out of the way first. Right. I'll try falling down that pit next time and that's a warp. I forgot to try that. Got a funny joke to crack. I got one. Nintendo has the best games. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> there we go. I make myself smile. Takes little to appease the goat. Why did the melons want uh, a formal wedding? I don't know, because they can't a loop. And the, the loop. And the loop. What is loop? Um, I, uh, I'm missing the English knowledge to get the joke. Uh, so yeah. Also, if you get explained, it means it's not good. <laughs> so I'm laughing at you now, not with you. Cantaloupe is a fruit or vegetable. I get it. Which one though? I don't remember. Remember uh, seeing cantaloupe uh, food in Ultima Online? I don't remember what it is. Also, what is a loop supposed to mean in English? Or sound like? A loop, okay, a loop. I know it's stupid. <laughs> but what does that mean? Loopy jokes are fine, just what I need right now. I need Sharp to crack some jokes. These are the worst. No one cared to explain what a cantaloupe is and what does to eloop mean. Oh, run away and get married. Oh, okay. Oh well. That's like a weird verb. But okay. <laughs> okay.
Okay. We got that done. Let's see the turbo tunnel. Hi Carl, have fun wherever you may roam and I'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out man. What? By the way, if I didn't show this before, which I know I did, this is what God Lady brought me yesterday. If you like Ninja Turtles but think that the latest show might be crap, give it a go man, give it a shot. I started watching it being pretty sure it was gonna be crap. Turns out it's fucking awesome. It's worth well, not kidding. I'm a fan of the first turtles, I've watched everything. The latest show is awesome. I really watched everything. Oh except the next mutation. I just kept falling asleep. Falling asleep. <clears throat> okay. That device. Ah, you like the turtles, man? How can you not like the turtles? Suck at streaming. <laughs> I completely forgot to bring up my alert box. Otherwise, I cannot see if someone hosts or worse. No, sure, no! That mug is mine and only mine. Did you know a Russian woman named Alina Novikov said over you you said that yesterday. You you just say that yesterday. I'm not even kidding. You have a worse memory than I do. You totally say that yesterday. <laughs> uh, freaking wagon. Yes you did. If it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before that. Oh, what? Dismiss those as occasional accidental deaths. Over 15 memory transports. is a waitress, she's working in a pub as we speak. Why 
while she walks over the hotel. Yeah, she got good tips yesterday. But tipping the waitresses is not um it's not something you, you, you do like like you do in the States. I know in the States um, and uh, please tell me if that works for other countries as well. I know in the States you just tip the waitress always and if you don't it's considered to be rude or something close to that. Here it's um it's more like a courtesy. Um yeah. You don't you don't do that often. Like maybe you get tipped once every ten times and not a lot. Oops. Ah, I forgot about the, the extra life a lot in this stage. Okay, Space Invaders, give me all you got. Such little time that that wouldn't help. Special. I played one game uh, before on stream. It was a uh, Space Channel Five Part Two on Steam. Quite fun. Didn't get to finish it though. To have this uh, steaming Sunday when I would play Steam games. I've beaten quite a few, I played some great games at like Shantai Risky's Revenge, which is way too easy. And uh, Papers Please, because there's endings. That was fun, but too much time out of the Mega Marathon. And um, yeah, I prefer the other side project. Where I beat all Ninja Turtles games, and as you can see, that is also not being played much. Uh, I, I, sti I still would like to finish stuff that I started though, like the Shadowrun stuff. Need to finish uh, what is left, like two minutes of uh, Super Nintendo Shadowrun, and then play Shadowrun Returns. I really want to play that. Oh, we met! Two players do make this game harder. Oh, DJ, this is not a hard game. No matter what you say, you cannot convince me this is a hard game. Not compared to really hard games, not compared to Mega Drive standards, and especially not a genuinely hard game. This is hard because of the glitches. Of the bad design and of the cheap shots. Porco dio. A perco dio. Ah, this game never managed to get me mad. In fact, no game managed to do that except Rampart. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty chill and uh, I'm pretty chill and exciting guy to have around when it comes to video games. I don't get mad normally. But when I do, it's rampart. At least many places tax you for a fixed amount of tips, even if you don't actually get that much in tips. If you don't tip your waiters, they'll be pissed in cells. That tax for the tip. Okay. 
DJ, literally you're calling God a pig. That's what it means. And um, yeah, so it's just traditional um, Italian man cursing. But yeah, that's what it means. I think you can find about it even on Wikipedia if you type uh, Bestemia. Yeah, I'm gonna type that in the chat. Oh, fuck, getting distracted. Damn it, DJ Beats, it's all your fault. If there is a page about it, I think there is. Basically, Italian profanity. Either finish this pile of shit or get good progress. Like really good progress. Like final boss kind of progress. I would be surprised if I would find a, a challenging boss in this game. They're all a joke so far. stage man I'm not DJ, I'm not. I just play this enough to memorize the tricks that it pulls on you. I told you, it's not a hard game. Also, pretty bad game, in my opinion. Actually, it's not an opinion, it's a fact, because it's full of glitches and it's terrible sound and graphics for its time and its console. I don't classify that as an opinion as an opinion. This part I'm gonna make this stream all blurry and my eyes heavy. Not even 
freaking kidding. Over. There's some patience. And you can see my beautiful face again. Yep. Ella banana. Hi, right, Shar. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. There's no raffle when this is over.
I'm gonna do. Oh, hey, Gabo, how are you? It's no problem, it's just a matter of time until I learn the game's glitches. Almost done. And one or two stages left. Most. Get killed by the poof again. Yeah. It's all up to luck whether that kills you or not. Unless you're a speedrunner of this shit, just have to luck. Alkman, this is not progress. I got like four stages after this. What's up, Alkman? Welcome back. No, I got two stage 12. Uh, Tower of Glitch. robots they always get me one way or the other level takes forever so let's be quick about it about the fucking robots.
Ah, wrong. Fuck. Ah, I got confused. He was heading the wrong side. Ah. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Back to the first wheel. Sorry. A little bit confused. Right there. Be fine. Oi TTK, welcome back. How are you? Nice having you again. Hey, you on the way? Damn it! It goes, it goes fine. Steady progress. Just the game is pretty bad. It's full of glitches, especially the power stage. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm you. Yeah, TTK, that section is very easy here, but it makes my eyes, makes my eyes hurt and the stream uh, full blur, TTK, yeah, that's exactly it, wish I found a warp to skip that level, unless I did not, but yeah, it, it really gives me a physical eye strain, I'm not exaggerating. I wonder if everyone hates that. Ah, I always, I always fuck that up the first time around. Always forget about that. It's okay. Yeah, here at the girlfriend's place, I can only manage like half of the optimal B trade. I fucked that up. So yeah, that's pretty hard. It would be, we would be, we would get very blurry on a good B trade too, which would be around the 1,300. I can manage much, much more on my at my place, but that would be hard on the viewers. The dot. That will get distracted while trying to talk English there. That would be hard on the viewers that don't have a great connection. And yeah, that part is just des destined to to blur out. It's no big deal really. It's a crappy part. What? And the worst part of this game are not even the graphics, not even the music. 
about the gameplay. Uh, I mean the hitboxes, because that is affecting the gameplay. Whereas graphics and music do not affect the gameplay. Well, they do in my opinion, but not directly. Uh, one thing is that although responsive and they work, some stuff is just brain weird. Not just playing wrong, like the attacks, the platforming, pretty bad. games with waterfalls uh, yeah I imagine OEMK oh, yeah, welcome back I get to the Black Queen Tower be stage 12 so because of how the game is uh, just a memorization exercise and you know, resisting the urge to turn it off because of the glitches kind of thing um, since I got to that stage, all of the stages before pose absolutely no threat to me. Because then, you know, I know them already, so since it's not a hard game, after you learn the stages, pretty, you know, pretty much got everything in a bag except the stage that I still need to beat. It has been like that for a while. The only mildly challenging thing, I mean, the, the most fun I've had so far with this is the the first stage, because you think like, hey, this is actually good, like, good gameplay. And the uh, rat chase was fun, this is, you know, pretty original, a little bit original. And uh, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, another thing I like about this game, I really, really like the... Fact that I'm gonna beat it and never play it again. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I like the I like the, the the water board when you like surf and you just hop around. Um, I really like how that controls like you, the, the hopping around. I think that's really cool and very unique. I've never seen anything uh, like that board uh, in a video game. But then again, that's such a minor thing. It doesn't take anything away from the game being very bad in my opinion. Uh, this is the most glitchy and most badly designed game I've played uh, so far in the Mega Marathon. Uh, even more so than, even more glitchy than the Lion King 2. Where you would randomly fall off platforms. Another thing I really like in this game is this art here. It's pretty good. I mean, looks good. These graphics are fine. Although it's only like two images and they repeat every time, so that's also pretty lazy. I get that this is a fateful Battletoads port. It's a very bad one. Thank you, MK. <laughs> I'm in your pocket. Makes me so proud. Uh, no, TTK. This this port is just horrible graphics, horrible colors, like. The most you're gonna get in a stage are three colors. Like here, you're lucky because the monitors have blue, light blue, white, and black. So it's like, whoa, four colors in a single object. Aside from that, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four colors, and I'm counting the black. There's yellow, pink, green, black. And it's like that for the rest of the game. It's like they never bothered adding more colors than the NES had, which is pretty embarrassing. I'm not joking when I've seen um, a VOD of... I, I mean, I, I, played, I played the game first, and then, you know, since Mother Brain gifted this to me, I went to Skype to have a talk about him, about the game with him. And I'm like, hey, uh, Battletoads is so hyped, I was excited, and I think I thought those would make it so good. Instead, blah 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 blah. I mean the graphics, man. I, I, I ch uh, he linked me his VOD of him playing this, and I, without spoiling anything, I just checked the snake section, and 
turns out the NES Battletoads has better graphics than this one. Or at least they're much more polished. This is just pretty bad. Alright, let's get this without wasting lives, so let me focus. Ah, this is fun though, this is a fun stage. It is in the first stage. Yeah, the NES one actually has uh, good colors, NES-wise, you know? Where this, for the Mega Drive standards, is very bad, like terribly bad. And if you consider it's a 1993 game, this is plain terrible. Favorite game? Now my favorite game so far is Shadowrun, the Mega Drive. The best one is Dynamite Heady, the one that wins everything. Every prize is won by Dynamo Heavy. Fuck, focus. Smells. That's like the first quote ever. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't remove that. Just memories. The bosses of this game are the biggest joke. Look at how stupid they are. They're so easy, and yet if you get hit once, like if this guy hits you, it's gonna uh, take only two health out of you, but then it's gonna stun lock you to death. So that's just why. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. It's all one of those things you would count towards a bad or good rating. Although the fact that this game doesn't have a single boss music so far does. I feel so inspired to write a bad review about this port, this game rather, because I never played the NES, the NES one. Yeah, the game design of this is it's horrible. Except this stage, I like this stage. I like this stage. Well, it's still just a memorization exercise, but I like it. The whole rest of the game is also a memorization exercise. But that is uh, like pretty normal for retro games, right? But this game is just... Okay, and then comes this part. I uh, heard someone say that this level is harder on the Mega Drive because of the D-pad being easier to nudge diagonals on. So the idea I had, without having um, anyone tell me this before, is the Tyson editor. But I already came up with the idea. I'm gonna unplug this pad from my Mega Drive here on the second webcam. Instead, I will be using this because it's a piece of cake with this. This is official um, peripheral. Uh, yeah, this one it's much more doable. Yeah, every boss lasts forever, especially the rat one. Can also stun lock you. Okay. Basically, you're supposed to hold the direction where you're going, otherwise you go slower. 
which is why nudging the diagonals on the Mega Drive pad, D-pad is not good because it's pretty easy. I had the best idea. <laughs> it was a hard idea to have. Speaking of this Sega Arcade Power Stick, this is bad because it's got uh, rubber contacts. I'm waiting uh, from Japan for a Japanese one. The original one is actually micro switched. But I cannot wait to play Mega Drive with that one. Playing Mega Drive with an official micro switch joystick is gonna be amazing. Here comes the best boss design in video game history. The music in this game is very bad, um, TTK. Let me switch back the other pad. Yeah, Ukunik, thank you so much for saying that. I just realized I'm gonna keep it on as I change back the pad. Because I just stopped it to change pad before. Yeah, um, TTK, it's such a shame, the music is so bad in this. It's such a shame, because this music was composed by David Wise. Like, my favorite, uh, my favorite Nintendo composer. This is the guy that made, um, Donkey Kong soundtracks. Uh, I, I like his work, so if this was actually decently composed for the Mega Drive, it would have been wonderful music, you know. Could have made such good use of the bass and drums and the hype synthesizer, then this would have been just awesome. And I would have actually genuinely liked the game, if I, even if for only the, the music. Yeah, no, it's pretty bad. This is a joke for 1993 Mega Drive joke of our music well TTK um, first of all it's only a matter of uh, taste and opinion but um, if I were to take a wild guess I would say that you are used to bad Mega Drive soundtracks um, the fact that the Mega Drive sound chip is an instrument it's a synthesizer makes it for you know you actually have to know how to use it to make good music out of it otherwise it just comes out like crap but if you listen to good soundtracks you actually realize the uniqueness and the good sound of it well um let's just say the bass and the drums are boss on the Mega Drive, and the synth is such hype. If you do a good job with it, you get amazing, good soundtracks. I'm just gonna say random ones: uh, Sonic games, uh, Lion King, Streets of Rage games, and there's many more, even in the ones I've played. Now I kind of need to focus. Oh shit! I wanted that item. Oh, well. This is the stage we need to beat to progress. It's mess for life. Well, the one thing the Super Nintendo had over the Mega Drive in terms of music is the ability to make more like a uh, orchestra kind of stuff, which they used to uh, good, with good intelligence because the SNES is full of uh, RPGs. And it's the reason why I love the Donkey Kong soundtrack 
it's very, you know, makes use of uh, being able to use a shitload of samples and stuff like that. Uh, mind you, I'm not knowledgeable about this stuff at all, but I know the goods and the bads of each console. I had both, by the way, I grew up with both. I just love the Mega Drive. Oh shit. That wasn't good. Considering we just died to damage. Yeah, I hear rock and roll racing kinda sucks on the Mega Drive. And it Yeah, it's full of it's full of examples like that. I don't know if you're trying to say something by that. It's pretty meaningless if so. Could bring you other examples of games being garbage and Super Nintendo, but great on the Mega Drive, or the other way around. Or just you know, this is better here, but it's worse here. The music being garbage on the Mega Drive, just as I just explained, it's because the composer or whatever made it uh, didn't know how to use the instrument. Whereas with the Super Nintendo, you can kind of derp around and use the samples, and you get something. Which is just the same sound as all of the other Super Nintendo games. Whereas you get more of a personal um, tone and feeling for the Mega Drive. That's why I like it much more better music wise. Yeah, some a lot of Mega Drive ports suck music wise, especially the Amiga ones. It's like they never bothered hiring a good guy who could make music. Yeah, no, I know you know, but I like to, to tell everyone about it. Uh, like, if you take the Amiga ports, for example, all of the music I heard playing Amiga ports on the Mega Drive is, like, very bad. Well, the sound of it sucks. Except one, you know, there's Leander, a popular game on the Amiga, called Legend of Galahad on the Mega Drive. They actually went as far as making a whole new soundtrack for that game. It's awesome. It's a very good soundtrack. It sounds good. Okay, this guy has the worst hitboxes in the game. I'm not exaggerating. I died like three or four times. We, like, I'm like, what the fuck? Because, like, it was a fucking meter between me and the, the enemy. It was very stupid. Oi oi, Mother Brain! It's been a while, being you. I haven't seen you on Twitch for like 24 hours. How are you? Yeah, TTK. The best music comes from good composers that can use the Yamaha synthesizer. TTK, check out this game. Oi, come and welcome back. Uh, TTK, check out that game. Not only is one of my top four games of all time, it's a very good and cute Mega Drake game. For being a Mega Drake game, it's pretty easy to. He has a great soundtrack. The guy that made it nowadays still works as a musician and composer and whatnot. Oh, yeah, Alkman. Makes sense. Oh, you streamed. Okay, I streamed a lot too. So I didn't catch it. How did it? How did it go? Did the game get any better? Let me try to focus and make progress. Oh, that the part, the, this part coming up here, it's bullshit. Like the last part I made it to, I jumped off of a spring and I had to land on another spring that was rotating. When I jumped, it stopped. So I imagine that will take a while to get used to. Let's kill the pink rock statues. Oh, you got a TMR host. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Uh, I can't get TMR to watch this stream because he's not much into anything that's not NES. Damn it. Hitbox, please. I'm very glad that you listened to that, TTK. One of my favorite soundtracks. 
Oh, you can enjoy it. Okay, nice. So it has a long uh, learning curve. Okay, how hard can it be to pick this up? I'm guessing it just glitched and I cannot pick it up anymore. Oh well, we don't need it. The worst part about this stage is falling off screen when you're not supposed to. I'll try to explain that, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen again. We'll get a chance to play it without getting so much distracted that I lose. Ah, fuck. Like when the spring happens to be at the very bottom of the screen because the screen scrolling is so stupid. You jump on it and you know the spring does like this. You just fall off screen and die because of that. DMX? What is that? I'm not ex I don't I don't think I'm exaggerating Alkman. I'm not saying this game is that terrible. I'm saying this port is pretty bad. That's all I'm saying. It has bad graphics, I mean counter colors. It has horrible music. Which is a damn shame because David Wise is a great composer in my opinion. The video games. And I would have loved to listen to it. What is that? You know, you get what I mean? What was that? Did I get hit by a, a bubble and I didn't notice? I don't think so. W what is that? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Okay, that last hit was legit. But... I, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. It's funny. I'm sorry, after this we're gonna be playing Mortal Kombat 2 and after that we're gonna be playing Micro Machines 1 and when I beat Micro Machines 1 there's gonna be a raffle which means next raffle is in 2020 Oh, and uh, Wednesday the 25th we're gonna be celebrating one year of Mega Marathon Does anyone have any special ideas for something special to do? Yeah, that's good Beast Wrestler. I don't know, TTK happens a lot against that guy, I have no idea. Yeah, this game just has very bad hitboxes overall. That's, that's the thing I was talking about. When the camera scrolls that up, and the spring stays in the bottom, when you jump back on it, you just die because the spring does this and it gets off screen. That is the obvious thing, yeah, mod brain. I think 5 or 10 minutes would be enough. But yeah, a quick review on every game would be the obvious thing, I would do that, yes. Thanks for saying that anyways, but uh, yeah. I was thinking something more um, special, I don't know really. I just today started thinking about it, seriously. Uh, making like a highlight reel would be cool, but I have a crappy PC and I don't have the chance to uh, stream and record, so I would need like to be able to do exports of the highlights to YouTube. I would have to try that. I don't know if you have any ideas. Oh, not this again, okay. Also, I was thinking about the final game. And people have been suggesting my favorite game, which would be Fantasy Star 2. I don't see that as being much hype for a last game, because it's a very long uh, RPG. Well, not very long, but also it's an RPG. It can get pretty boring for viewers, not for me. Ah, uh, this part. And so I gotta do like this. And people have been suggesting Sonic, but Sonic is a pretty short game, although it's between my favorites. So I was thinking maybe as last game, keep Sonic 1, but you have to pick all Chaos Emeralds. Or all three Sonics together, picking all Chaos Emeralds. And if so, still keep the Sonic games pickable for raffles inside the challenge. Thank you, Mother Brain.
2020 baseball. Never heard of that game. Is it good? Never played baseball. My favorite Sonic would be one because I never played two. And this is not demanding platforming in my opinion, Kame, because it's slow. But the hard part just started. I don't know yet. My favorite Sonic is Sonic One. I only had Sonic One and Sonic Two. And I played other Sonics too, but let's keep it Mega Drive. Favorite is one because it accomplished more for its time than two did when it came out. Although although Sonic Two Sonic Two is much more iconic. You just play that and it just screams. Hey I'm the Mega Drive, hear me roar and just you know, attacks you with awesomeness. Also, like Sonic One best because it's more difficult. But I see Sonic Two has more value. It's stuff, you know. Also, when you get underwater in Sonic One, it it can get boring. The labyrinth zone, you're underwater the whole time. Whereas in Sonic Two, you're not, and you can almost completely avoid being in the water, which is pretty dull moment in Sonic. You know, you just want to go fast. Yeah, so you can just do this. Uh, seems easy, so I'm expecting some kind of bullshit. What is this? Oh, it's a boss. What just happened? What? just happened. I think I gotta keep holding onto the pole or something. Sonic and Knuckles plus three. <laughs> Mother brain. have plenty of lives, so let's keep calm and beat the stage. Oh yeah, Billy, I've been thinking about that. I have been thinking about that. I, I would love to play the Sonic 1 hacks. I guess I was kind of waiting on you guys to pick Sonic 1 before I would play some of them. But that's a great idea, I'll definitely think about it. It's just lame to play them uh, before actually playing Sonic 1. Fuck. Well, Alkman, to be honest, I've never played that. So can't judge but I know it's pretty awesome and it's pretty long has a shitload of content it's probably the best game out of the three although my favorite is gonna just stay one I'm pretty sure because I, al I always um, keep into first account when I judge a game when I and when I say judge a game I still even though I try to do it as objectively and unbiasedly as possible, uh, I, it's still a subjective thing, you know, it's just a game, it's, it's like art, it's subjective, like it or not, although you gotta be honest enough to say, okay, this is good, or okay, this is bad, and you can like something and say, hey, it's bad, or you can say, hey, this is good, but I don't like it, I am that honest, I can do that. But the first thing I see, I watch, like the first thing, blah, 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 first thing I take into account and consideration is the release date of a game, stuff like that. Which is why this is a disappointment, by the way, because this is 1993. If you think about games that came out that year, this is such a letdown. If you bought this back in the day, you, you, you should have gotten pretty upset. In my opinion. And so, getting back to the Sonic discussion, why was I talking about the release date? 
is, in my opinion, Sonic 1 accomplished so much more than Sonic 2. I cannot speak for... Oh fuck, it's this guy again. Nah, I didn't realize. What the fuck is that anyways? I wanna check him out on the manual. Oh, and the timer was stopped. Let's see what the manual says about this bus. Wanna see the Dark Queen? Timer was stopped. Yeah, I noticed, which is why I'm gonna let it go now. It's not just race like Sonic 2. Yeah, I mean, Sonic 2 then is the fastest, because Sonic 1 is more about choosing right and platforming. Cheating. Oi, Vivian, welcome back. How are you? Ciao. Don't bother. You can speak in whatever language you want here. But if you want me to understand you, it has to be either English or Italian. Stole your shirt? This is a pyjama goat lady bought me a couple days ago. So, under um, sweet concession of Mother Brain, who gifted me this game, this actually came with a Genesis manual. Which is interesting because they have more info and stuff than Mega Drive ones do because they gotta fit in more languages. At least I think so. Anyhow, check out the boss. This General Slaughter might be General Slaughter, one of the Dark Queen's last least intelligent commanders. He always uses his head if only he has a weapon. No, this is the guy at the end of the rat race, isn't he? He's gotta be... Uh, let's see... What, where is that guy? Hmm... He, he is not in the manual, might not even be a boss. But even the stupid monsters are in the manual. The Dark Queen is... Let's uh, look better. Maybe he's under the obstacles? Gasser, Sucker, Big Ball, Spike Ball, Snot Ball, No Ball, Side Spikes, Retro Blasters, Electro Zaps, Wild Cheeks. How is Wild Cheeks is this fucker? Fucker, right here. Hold on, I cannot see my webcam. Yeah. That dude. At the end, no, this guy is not oh, okay. Shadow clouds, little clouds lurking in the shadows of the awesome tower that roll in to put an end to your mission. There's not even an image, this guy's not rolling in. Uh, I imagine there's gonna be something rolling in. Oh well, man. Oh well. I'm gonna keep the manual here handy. Just when we find a new enemy, we can check out the description. I think that's cool. Alright. Um, catch up with the chat. <laughs> manual is wrong. Pretty good, Vivian. Thank you for asking. I was already following you. Very nice. Is that it? The pink hair. I'm guessing you gotta hang in the on the pole. It's just my second time reaching it, and every time it catches me off guard. Oh fuck, we're running out of lives already. First continent at least. We have that going for us. I'm gonna try hanging on the poles next, because there's two of them together, so that's gonna be fishy. This soul sounds so much like Donkey Kong. It makes me mad. Imagine our remake of this game, 
with like good Mega Drive graphics and great Mega Drive music. It would still be pretty awesome, even though the gameplay is what it is and the glitches are what they are and the hitboxes suck. The platform is also pretty dull. Ah, that was bad, and as you can see, this is the worst stage so far. If you don't count the graphics from the plane, the fuck up your eyes. Because of stuff like that happening and having you die unjustly so out of screen. And you can't even really call that a glitch, but it's just bad design on how the game scrolls much more than it's supposed to. Like, it's, it sucks because like 90% uh, of the deaths in this stage has been either due to that or to this fucker's hitbox. Like, touching me when it's like one meter away. Doesn't make sense. It's like he's shooting bubbles but they are invisible. That's my guess. He's shooting invisible bubbles. Because the other guy shoot bubbles. But you can actually see them. You cannot see that guy's bubbles. That is my guess. Oops. Ah, no! My bad. Didn't wait. Thank you for that once half second of invincibility frame. And go! That bubble guy is soon, and go! Get ready to hang on that pole and see. Oh! You fucker, yeah, you get a lot of that. Oh, I don't think this is gonna end. Oh, the timer! And it ended. Oh, nice. So, what's next? Okay. Progress is next. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, manuals are the best. No, how do I? Yeah, the scrolling doesn't make much sense. Yes, you can actually stand on the platforms even though they're not visible anymore. Mm. Invisible bubbles. Stinging spins, and so on, apparently. Oh no, fuck me. Okay, I was hoping for a checkpoint. Jeez. Maybe a hidden one up here? By the way, I didn't end up finding any warps on the brain, just the obvious one in the turbo tunnel, so I'm just playing off of that, which doesn't even skip stuff. I was hoping for one that skipped the bad graphics that hurt my eyes. What, what are we racing here? We're racing the Trump, really? No, no, come on! Why do you scroll that much? Okay. At least it's easy to grab on all the poles. Really? Uh, okay. Guess that works. Oh, my bad, my bad. I failed at double tapping. They really should have uh, used the third button the Mega Drive has that the NES does not have. I would have used it to make you run easily, like in Hypersome Heist, instead of freaking having to double tap. Which I do not like. Unless it's like Golden Axe. Okay, so now he didn't hit me, but he hits you when it's not supposed to. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it takes a lot to hit with the... Oh, come on. Why do you have a new pattern the other guys do not have? Do 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 <laughs> Hey, Vividzor. What is up? 
Yeah, last life. Gonna have to redo the tower from scratch. Hope for good luck. And Godspeed. That face is funny though. Know? Still one color, but funny. Where, where are you? There you are. So the pink, the yellow ro rocks that is, uh, horn you. The pink ones just swallow you. Oh, you fucker. So this somehow works. Non-Euclidean geometry towers. Oi, Matt, welcome back. Oh, okay, Vividor. Hope having my stream up helps. Oh, fuck, we're dead. Why didn't this guy wait? That is pretty fucked up. From scratch, eh? Oh, I forgot to get the weapon. You gotta kill these guys, or you cannot scroll the screen upwards. Somebody just arrive. <laughs> In fun of Matt, hey? Eh? That's a good thing to do here. Right, Matt? What is that thing stuck on the top left corner? The right one? Oh, I guess that's the tower. Ah, uh, come on, everyone gets hit like that. Why don't you? Checkpoint, first life, which is nice. We're half dead, so nice to get home. I wish you could pick like your character. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Walker, show your face so the user can time you out. And 
we are in there. There we go. Nice. As you can see, you just have to get there once, and then it's pretty easy. So you, you learned it already, you memorized it. Oh, Kogu just started streaming, guys. Kogu just started this cast. So if you're gonna head there, uh, be sure to, to tell him I said hi. Adonado. Oh fuck, what is this? We? Okay, we can hang on and we got the weapon already. Would have been ass if we weren't able to. <laughs> if it's hard. Is there a monster? Yeah. Has the best typed laugh. <laughs> I agree with you, it's all 100%. <laughs> okay. F fuck you, yes. Second try, babe. Now what? Hopefully, it's over soon. Oh shit. Oi, Blackburn, how are you? No, well, you know, yeah, I haven't been streaming. I missed my Mega Drive fix, man. Okay, now what? I had a feeling that was gonna fail. That's pretty tough, considering you gotta take into account the time it the toad takes to grab the pole just like in the upcoming section you gotta take into account the time the spring takes to spring up it's no secret If I just spam this, it's better. I'm a bloke? Doesn't bloke mean like a dumb person? Hey TTK, you hear this? You hear this guy? Gotta do something about it. But what is up Black Bar? How are you? I don't see you much lately. And I don't mean in my channel. Oh, well, we got Bulk is a man, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about the same thing, TDK. Ah, I fucked up again. Uh, got time here. Smart look on the toad's face while you hold on to the pole. Yeah, that is the best looking sprite eh, of the toad in the game. Whereas the least good looking one is when I ride a bike or the plane, it just looks horrible. Like, like a five year old uh, draw it with his left hand and his right handed. It looks terribly bad. Ah, no, no, ah, fuck me, I forgot, man. 
Okay, the, when there is the, the green wind blower, and then there is a spring. As soon as you jump on the spring, you gotta jump to the right. I am a forgetful guy. It's true. Yeah, that's the best sprite right there. It looks like a Donkey Kong. After this one, what just happened? Oh man, oh man, oh man, okay. whatever. Couldn't help that shit. No, I didn't. Fucked up. Why isn't the yellow platform there from the start, anyways? I did it again. Damn it. Okay. Oh, what the fuck, man? What is going on? I don't. Bah, okay. Now. Yes. Why do the platform stop when you jump? Full of questions about this game. It <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Still having fun. Forgot to get the weapon. Still. this Matt <laughs> and she wouldn't like this so far the only Mega Drive games I could uh, get her to like were Lemmings uh, she didn't play that much and Snow Bros we actually we actually beaten that uh, up on the Mega Drive though we didn't beat hard modes and it has password and stuff yeah, that was fun. Snowbirds was fun. It was recently though, too. It, we played it on my Mega Drive with the with the EverDrive, and I was using the power stick I'm using for the Klinger Winger stage here. Oh fuck me! Damn it! I would like to do some uh, cop action. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can get a friend. Do a cop stream for the 25th. Is it the Mega Marathon birthday? Play some Gunstar Heroes maybe? Or maybe I can get a. Oh, you can kill these things? I don't know. Maybe I can get another streamer to play some Mega Drake games. That would be interesting. 
by some streamer playing Mega Drive games in my stream, that's what I meant. Nintendo guy. <laughs> wink wink. I don't know, that would be too complicated probably. No, no, ah! Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, there was a double trouble there. First, the hitbox wasn't right. Second, we died because the hit brought us up. So, bringing us up the screen scrolled, and scrolling the screen, the platform disappeared, and disappearing the platform, we died. MK, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, like a month ago or something, uh, MK was streaming uh, the Hyperstone Heist and I was like, man, the Hyperstone hype! I was so hyped about it, I was watching it. I, I was supposed to sleep, but I was still watching. And at some point it's like, yeah, I'm playing on my SNES, by the way. And I'm like, no! How can you play this game with the SNES pad? It's just bad! Look at the hitbox. The cool thing about Hyperstone Heist compared to Totals in Time, gameplay wise, aside from it being faster, um, you can dash by using one button, which means you can much more comfortably do the special moves than you can in Turtles in Time. So the shoulder bash, the special kick, and the, the OP slide. Just do. And you slide, you know? Instead of doing that on the SNES, it's a mess. Don't fight it. Yeah, Hyperstone is just um, a more polished game with less content. Hey, hey, I was gonna ban Matt, but now I'm gonna ban Abs too, just to, to, to show them. <laughs> What's up, Abs? How is Mado Monokatari going? I'm jealous. The Super Nintendo one got a translation, because the Mega Drive one the, it looks awesome and it doesn't. Although they're pretty different. Okay. Looks fun. I'm close to banning all of you Nintendo fanboys. I grew up with both, and I can say Mega Drive is superior. I just love bringing back the console wars into Twitch, I think it's hilarious. I guess you just all play along. In my opinion, it's just awesome. Come on! So Mario. <laughs> so Mario sounds funny in Italian because it's really close to the spelling of uh, Donkey. You dead yet? Nice. Oh, okay, here we get a. Yes, okay. Oof. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Now what is that supposed to mean? Stupid stupid. 
stage full of glitches. I'm gonna try again. How do we get to that platform? Oh, is that the end? There's something weird on top. Okay, nice. Progress. Officially progress. Supposed to get on the spring. Nice. Oh, what? Get. Let go of me, man. That timing. Ah, oh, fucking glitches, man. Like, why does the platform have to disappear on the bottom edge of the screen? That is very annoying. Welcome back, banana. <laughs> yeah, the Mega Drive bad games are parts of the Nintendo games. I think Last Action Hero is on the Mega Drive as well. Isn't it? TGK, please. Yeah, it's not hard to reach the stage you lost at the last time, because it's not a hard game, you just learn the stages and then it's super easy to beat them. Sadly. No, I think it is abs. Oh, it's scenic. <laughs> Thank you for granting me permission to beat. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I don't get this stage. Well, abs, at least it's, if it is, it's gonna have better graphics and music than this, for sure. Oh no, I did it again. What a stupid asshole. Oh, come on. Why can't that yellow platform be there in the first place so as not to confuse me? That would be very good. Uh, mainly, I'm seeing this for Banana, my friend, because he's fairly new to this retro stuff on Twitch. He's a, assuming everyone else already knows abs. So banana, give abs a follow. Se segui questo tizio fa um, praticamente la stessa cosa che faccio io però con i giochi del Super Nintendo. Ok. Well, I don't know abs, does last action hero have gorgeous uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five colors co counting black maximum for each stage. Is that it? That so bad. Hey, at least you are done with it rather quickly. I have experienced the hardest and worst game in my life here, and it's actually a great game with a terrible part on the Mega Drive. Its name is Rampart. Oh shit, I need to kill this guy. I just spam the button as usual. Cool. I think I'm just juggling him, but he's really bad. I am pretty sure that is the case, yes. Oh, oh no, okay, yes. Oh, come on! Oh, that was evil. Just one frame. <laughs> Yeah, it took me 63 hours or so to beat Rampart, which has six stages. Pretty much an, a nightmare. It's the same. Oh well. I'm pretty sure it's... I won't mind too much. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of fresh from Rampart. I feel pretty much undestructible, but we'll see. Oh, what nice clutch, last life. Does it have Schwarzenegger at least? <laughs> Does it at least have Schwarzy? You went ahead and checked that out, it's pretty awesome.
Hey, Narcotion! That's fine. I, I love a little console wars in here. I always encourage it. It's not even what Abs is doing. Oh, what? Oh, not again. We're dead. Look at this. You see me? You see, you, you see the platform? You see it? Okay, no. That worked like one thing. I was gonna disappear and have me die, basically. Let's just bump rush through this. Seems so. I don't think we can kill that guy. Oh no, what the fuck? Okay, you, you probably don't know, because, yeah, you don't know which buttons I'm pressing, but basically that guy just blew us with his wind. Like, he just, and we just fell. That's what happened. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh, it looks nothing. Damn it. Yeah, I am, I'm not gonna hope that I, I risk breaking the stream. Three hits of your rod and the guy's done. Oh no! Oh, that shit again, I always forget, man. It's pretty fucking cheap. Yeah, three continues in this. I think we are at our. I actually have no idea which continue is this. Absolutely no idea. So let's just give, us, give it our best. Too much distracted. Come on, that doesn't even fit in the console wars. I think the first DOS game I ever played was prehistoric too. Pretty sure. Player? What, what do you mean? Like using a player 2 for mid shield? Or actually playing this uh, with another person? I think this 2 player is harder, like if you're trying to play with someone. TTK, please. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, why is the platforming so darn stupidness? I was sure that I was gonna land on the platform, but it wasn't. I'll show myself out. Oh, with another person. Yeah, this game is much harder with another person, Vivian. Just end up uh, getting in each other's way the whole time. You hit yourself, you just... Yeah. Just not a good cop game unless you're both experienced. I actually like this game.
no 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 why did he stop? This, these monsters are so random man also they look look at that that is basically a giant turd with a face and he's like you shock that is just just awesome man you know just it's just awesome awesome graphics Ah one Bubblegum Rhinos, that's the whole thing here in the game, scene joke. <laughs> now they even got rhinos made out of bubblegum. Cody versus third phase is even beatable with two players. Surely not blind, not even losing your friend. I don't know. It is I think you got an extra backslash in there. You spelled your awesome wrong. Okay, now the monster, right? No. Attack this color? What? I don't get the joke. As usual with you Americanos. Another sweet sweet checkpoint. Oh what the fuck. Bubblegum rhinos. It's surprising in this game when monsters have more than one color, you know. You're like, oh two colors on a single enemy. There is even single color bosses. What is this? It's just... What is this? Which console is this? Is this Pong? Oh, okay, that didn't happen. That totally didn't happen, and neither did that. I bet my weapon is now glitched and unobtainable. Because Battletoads... Oh, nice. Sweet. Oi, Ante, okay, now that you're back, I'm gonna beat this. God is an American. <laughs> oh, fuck, why do I always forget that? Damn it, man, damn it, damn it. Well, I count the, 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 the stump, the something, I count something. Alright, next. Basically, it's the first green monster after the checkpoint with the green bathrooms. This music is epic. Is it? You're jogging, right? <laughs> well, yeah, this part is cool. I like it, but the sound of it is terrible. It's a bad part. Like David Wise is a video game composer. Oh, I missed the, the, the host. Oh, there we go. Tangent, thank you for the host. Thank you so much. Oh shit, it's a host! It's a host! Hype! I'm hype! <laughs> Alright. I'll do my best, Ante. Okay, so. After this spring, we gotta jump on the poles. Fast as possible. Oh, look at this message. There we go. Come, you all exit out. Did you make progress? 
you guys wanna follow, wanna check out some good Nintendo 64 action, as in challenge, you should go give Tangent a follow by any means. Yeah, he's streaming in N N64. Oh, finally, man! <laughs> it has two colors, man, two colors. Uh, let's check this out, finally. Finally. Dark Queen. Commanding our evil legion from the dreaded Tower of Shadows, this menacing mistress is the ultimate challenge to your toadness. You must seize her. I sure will. Hopefully in the first try. Cause the bosses in this game are just a bunch of fucking jokes. So we're gonna beat down a woman to top off this game. Welcome back. All right, let's do this. Oh wow, that's hot. All right. I have a feeling this is gonna be just like every other boss. Oh, she's getting red. Yeah, I think it's time to avoid her. Can we jump on stuff? No. What is that? She doesn't even attack us. to hop high after our kicks. Oh, she doesn't even reach to us. This is looking like just a joke like the others. Bosses in this game are... Okay, she hit me. Although, I just hit her. That's the thing, I just... Okay, wh whatever. Yeah, shut up. Oh, I did it again. Is this so easy? 